Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crossgrey in BL tonight. First up here tonight, we got Kingston Wharves here. That's ticker symbol KW, continuing to hold their own with a steady first quarter here for 2021. So a fair quarter here, not a great one, but clearly showing that shipping costs, freight costs, everything were very high. We saw those reports coming out of China for the last three to six months, and it is very true. And clearly when you draw a line between KW's results, now Jetcon Corporation, a nice rally back here and Jetcon in its management discussion analysis says it's been paying down debt. So it's an improved first quarter here, financial results, and clearly the chairman, the managing director, you know, they did probably a huddle or the management team and said how they're gonna get this business right sized and back into profitability and get their act going together. Now the revenue is slumped to 202 million Jamaican for the quarter versus 227.7 million Jamaican year over year. But the profits on the bottom line, that's what the market wants to hear. That's what Jetcon has did. Net profits hitting 11.5 million Jamaican versus 10.3 million Jamaican for the March 31st, 2000. 21 quarter. No Panjam investment. First quarter rebound here for Q1. A billion Jamaican in profit. Again, it's act back together. After a shaky market in the first quarter for pretty much everybody in the financial space, Panjam invests heavily in the markets uh, for 2020 first quarter. Rebounding via income from investments for Panjam and profits from associated companies. Earnings per share here. EPS hitting Jamaica 95 cents versus pretty much zero cents per share year over year. So net profits, just over a billion Jamaican. Income from investments swung favorably, approximately 1.3 billion Jamaican dollars. That's a big swing. Nice moves here by Panjam. Now, Epley Limited, quarter one results here jumping 24%, a big jump there. Not many financial companies besides Barita, a few others have seen that type of growth here. Epley, well-managed net profit, 50.8 million Jamaican versus 40.4 million Jamaican. So that's up, as we said, 24% or so. Earnings per share, 26 cents, the headline versus 21 cents year over year. Epley managing their book conservatively has probably pulled in some loans as well. From quarter to quarter, not year over year, but quarter to quarter, shrunk by about 115 million Jamaican as well. Last up, Tropical Battery, rallying revenues in a hard business, a commodity business, up by 7% in Q2 and improved profits overall. Tropical Battery, newbies to the market, recently went public, and it's just not an easy business for them to grow top line in that sector. So revenue here, 476 million Jamaican from 443 million Jamaican, and net profits improving to 15 and a half million Jamaican from 3.7 million Jamaican. So Tropical's numbers are up. Taxation, no taxation in this quarter. That was a big help, but overall, the business numbers are up. So good for the Tropical team. I'm Mark Crosscreet, this is Business Life.